Good to see you. Uh, we have been discussing here, even though it's the Republicans' convention and their night, the fate of Joe Biden, that it seems that if he were to decide to leave, because I don't know the mechanism they have to kick him out, it goes to Kamala Harris. And my question becomes, from what you understand, Stephen A. Smith, what makes her such a lock to give the Democrats the black vote? Well, first of all, I don't know if she's a lock to get the black vote. I think it's more about folks not wanting to vote for Donald Trump mm -hmm. as opposed to wanting to vote for her because mm -hmm. she hasn't been as impactful as we would like her to be. Mm -hmm. You have an abundance of people within the African-American community that obviously feel that she's been held back to a strong degree, mm -hmm. that the Biden administration has served a role in terms of muzzling her to some degree because she is considered very, very smart, mm -hmm. very accomplished, obviously younger, more vibrant, more articulate at this particular moment in time. And as a result of that, that definitely puts her, along with an abundance of other candidates in a position to look better than Joe Biden has looked over the last few months. In the same breath, remember, she was considered the czar, the person that was supposed to handle the whole immigration crisis to some degree in terms of the border. A lot has been made on the right about how she's only made one visit, about how 10 and a half million people have crossed the borders illegally. Clearly, they're throwing a finger at the Democratic Party when this is an issue, as you well know, a hell of a lot better than me has existed for far longer than one administration or even two or three, for crying out loud. But that's not going to stop them from blaming her to point the finger at her in terms of what they've deemed to be a crisis and what the Democratic Party has acknowledged is problematic and something that she hasn't done enough to fix. Mm -hmm. And so when you take all of that into consideration, there's going to be trepidation. But in the end, the vast majority of black Americans in America, they're going to be of the mindset anybody but Trump. And that is what is expected to help her most. We'll see whether or not that's true. Mm. Also depends who they pair with. Depends on a lot of things. Yes. I still don't even believe that this is going to happen, but we'll see. So the other big narrative I is do. Donald Trump, as we spoke on the Stephen A. Smith show, Donald Trump gets shot in the head. Uh, yeah. People would not believe if he started giving a different message if he hadn't been shot in the head. But everybody can believe that once you have been shot in the head, you may think a little differently on the other side of it. Do you think there's a chance that Donald John Trump uses this moment of adversity, tragedy, to try to make a pitch to the many instead of the few tomorrow night? I think it would be wise for him to do that. Uh, I read Carl Rove's column in The Wall Street Journal's editorial in The Wall Street Journal today alluding to just that. Mm talking about this was his moment to speak on unity, to be an aberration of what we've seen him be since 2016. And certainly after this experience, I've, I haven't had that experience, you haven't had that experience, he has. And so one would think if your life, if you're just an inch or a, milli or a millimeter from being dead, for crying out loud, that that would give you cause to pause and potentially force you to change a little bit. What I would say is this. If you look at the Republican National Convention over the first two days or so, and you see the speeches that was given, Nikki Haley, uh, Ron DeSantis, Marco Rubio to a lesser degree, Ted Cruz and others, uh, you know, Sarah Huckabee Sanders and others, they have spoken defiantly enough for you mm -hmm. where he would have the latitude to say, I really don't need to go that route mm -hmm. because it's already been done for me. But that would be requiring him to exercise a level of wisdom and, and, and discipline and control. And it's not to say that he's not capable of it. It's just to say that we haven't seen much of it. So we'll see what happens. Mm. Now, I, I can't disagree with the analysis, um, but this is a unique window for him because ordinarily, you know, when you poll voters, he's under 4 in 10, find that you can believe anything that comes out of his mouth. But this would be believable because if he articulates it the right way, you know, life is precious. You know, this guy was just a quarter of an inch from being in a box. And that would give, I think, Lynn some credibility if he decides to use the moment. We'll, we'll see. Um, the, it seems that the Democratic side of the ball is just as much a factor in what's happening yeah. in this convention as anything here. Do you think Biden having COVID matters? Or is this something to watch to see how fast he gets better? And maybe he uses it to prove that there's some resilience on that side as well. Chris, I think it matters. I wish it, I wish it didn't. I don't know how fair that is to the president of the United States. Hmm. But 
I don't think we've ever been in a situation where we've looked at an incumbent mm -hmm. running for re-election, already having eclipsed the age of 80, mm -hmm. where we've seen him walk, we've seen him talk, we've seen him stumble in his speech, we've seen him forget names. We're a little more than a week or so removed from him uh, calling the Ukrainian president Zelensky Putin. Vladimir Putin. Yeah. You know, that, that's just the latest. And so when you see stuff like that, they're looking for every little thing. And when you look at the verbiage that's been articulated by the right, particularly at this convention, they're speaking about Donald Trump getting shot. They're speaking about, drug, you know, blood just, you know, dripping from his face and how he got up and he was defiant and he pumped his fist in the air. And they're talking about how much of a sign of strength and bravery and stuff like that, which are things that you alluded to when you came on to my show. And so we gave him a lot of kudos and a lot of credit for that because most of us would not have done that. Mm -hmm. And then you juxtapose that to this happening to our president. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.